Hi Capricorn, this is your May 2022 forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis, do use the link below. Capricorn, you've got a lot of family um, issues on your mind for the last four weeks or so. Really heavy, um, intrusive, um, you know, almost obsessive because it's it's overshadowing everything else that you've been um, dealing with in life. You've also had some um, issues um, with people at work or even, you know, people, uh, friends or just people around have just been really annoying. Um, and your career study in finance, we do have the Ace of Cups. So this is an offer of a job, an offer of a position, an offer for you way uh, making money or something just given to you as a freebie. There is some divine uh, around this. So take what is offered to you. Now, being that it's Mercury retrograde, something from the past may come back, which you may have missed out on before. You didn't um, jump at the chance um, or... You know, you saw it, but you didn't really go for it. Something is going to come back from the past that, that very might be what is being offered to you here in your career, study, and finance um, position. Now, know that there is um, a divine intervention in this area for you, but this is a fresh start for you, um, and it's going to bring you about some peace. When it comes to your home, you do have the Seven of Pentacles, so you are looking at your position, um, Capricorn, and you are thinking, okay, well, what do I have and what do I want? And um, and this is where you're assessing, reassessing, renegotiating, remortgaging, re-signing um, in the area of your home. What you're most focused on all of this month is your fifth house. So this is creativity, this is dating, this is pleasurable affairs, this is sports. Um, this is uh, just, you know, creative and fun time, going out and having fun surrounded by people dating and love. So, you know, maybe push off some of this heavy and just have a social time this month. Um, you know, also looking at your responsibilities once you've got your home life sorted, or maybe it's the home life, you need to shake that off a bit and just get out there because there's this heaviness around you. I feel like things will lighten up for you uh, maybe by the 10th of May. Um, things will definitely be sure after the 14th of May. Things will be a lot more solid. Anything you get before then, it's just not going to be uh, permanent. This card is also saying that uh, we're looking at um, paying the Pied Piper, a family member or even yourself, paying the Pied Piper is what I hear. Um, this is also about um, a renewal um, in within the home. So maybe you have set a schedule and everybody has to be part of it. Maybe you're re-signing or maybe you have decided that you are going to move out on your own. When it comes to your uh, health, we do have the King of Pentacles here. Now, this is a surgeon. Now, this could, this is about seeds. So this could be the reproductive area that we're seeing here. And it looks like we may have found um, the answer here. Um, it's on the left side, so it could be something on the left-hand uh, side here for you. This is a specialist, um, someone... Um, long in their field, not someone with grey hair, so not that old, but someone, um, some specialist that's been well on their field. Um, um, I feel like there's four around this, so I don't know how many appointments you've had, but uh, four is the deciding factor of when we're actually going to act on what it is. So it looks like there's something could be on the left side um, in the reproductive area uh, here for you on this, male or female. With your uh, love, we do have the King of Wands. Now, do uh, expect contact from an ex uh, coming back. They haven't changed, don't bother. Uh, single people, this is a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, I'm going to hold closer to the Leo on this. This guy is really cute and charming. This guy has a lot to say, and he's really easy to get on with. Um, and I, I feel like he's going to make you laugh a lot. If you're in a committed relationship, this person might be a bit cocky this month. I don't know, something's going really well for him in his life. Maybe um, your partner, him or her, a bit cocky in their life this month. Um, might even, first of all, it might be funny, then it might just become a little bit annoying. Um, we have, so a loved one, specifically a uh, child, so sibling or your own. Uh, is watching over you this month and their message to you is is that you're at the end of a cycle of your life and so 
Call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. So whatever changes are occurring for you from the eclipse, and I want to say from the start of the year because it's been a heavy year, but from the eclipse on, your loved ones are letting you know that everything happens for a reason. Take it in your stride. Take these new um, steps that you need to, and you'll get to the place that you need to be. I got these cards given to me as a gift. So you just pick one pink one and one blue one. What you are to be taking action on, what's going to help you the most, is going out and getting backing and support, getting a partnership. So looking for a partner, whether it be work or love, um, getting some backing, so maybe it's a mortgage or a loan, a new salary, um, and even working on your own self-esteem uh, as well, and so any insecurities. That That is where we might be focusing all our healing because that's going to help you in all the areas. If something has stirred up, um, how you feel about yourself within a team, a partnership, or in yourself, your own um, conversation. And this uh, has been brought up specifically karmically for you to end that cycle. It's got to go now, you know, forget it. Um, no more victim mentality, no more being insecure, no more second guessing yourself. So the first one says, stop worrying, your desires are manifesting. The other one says, what seems impossible is possible, believe. Do watch your sun, moon, and rising because these cards have come up for other signs. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.